Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the first of the month which means it is time for another sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what February 2021 has in store, see my first set and find out how you can download the file for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that the first of the month means a new sheet load of cards. What I like to do is stop by each month with a free printable for my subscribers. This is a two page PDF. On the first page is the sketch and supply list and on the second page are the cutting guides. These two pages combined together is going to help you get a sheet load of cards with just a few pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. This month, February 2021, if you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you're going to yield nine cards. Today, I'll be going over the printable with you and giving you a couple tips in case you're going to get started before I come back tomorrow with the process video. I will also be showing you the first set I created this month and letting you know how you can download the printable for free, so make sure to keep watching. February 2021 is another special edition. It is actually a sheet load throwback. Some of you might already know that I used to put out sheet load over a decade ago. I actually quit putting it out about 10 years ago. It used to be a free e-zine that you could download online and recently I brought it back as a feature on my YouTube channel. Well, I was looking back at those old issues last month and I really liked some of those layouts so I thought I would bring them back and just kind of update them for this new series. This sketch is a throwback to the April 2009 sheet load of cards. This just shows you that a sketch is timeless. You can just change it and update it to your needs now. Here on the left is what the cards will end up looking like. To get those nine cards, you'll be using three pieces of pattern paper, three solid card stocks for the mats and for your sentiment, and then five solid card stocks for your card bases. Now, of course, five solid card stocks for your card bases is going to yield you one extra card base. You can always save that for your next project. If you don't want to make a sheet load of cards, but you do like this layout, as always, I have given the dimensions for each piece. Now, here's where you'll want to pay attention if you're going to go ahead and get started. Please note that some of these dimensions are an eighth of an inch. A couple places, PPB and PPC, you'll need to cut your pieces 3.125 inches wide. In the past, I've had some people cut to three and a quarter, but then it's not going to work out for you. So I have a little note underneath that what 3.125 is equal to, which is three and one eighths inches. There is also some corner rounding and fishtailing on this sketch. You could skip either of those if you want to. And as always, I like to give some alternatives or other ways to use the sketch. You can rotate it, you can add more mats, you can remove mats, you can add dimension, you can add embellishments, whatever you want to do to make this your own. Sheet load is just a really great jumping off point. On the second page are the cutting guides. So I show you how to cut each of your pattern papers as well as your card stocks. Once again, if you're going to get started, make sure to pay close attention to how you cut CS1. You will get five of each piece out of each cardstock, but some of them are rotated just a little bit. And you will end up with 10 pieces of each, so you can either keep that extra for a little sheet load left over, or just stop cutting when you get to nine of each piece. Down here on the bottom right, is the cutting guide for CS2 and this is going to get you the image size that I've given here on the front. Now if your image or sentiment is larger or smaller than this you can always adjust it to fit your needs. 
Up at the top of both pages are a couple hashtags, and that's because I love to see what you create with your sheet load of cards. There are a few different ways that you can show us your sheet load. You can make a video here on YouTube, you can post to Instagram, or you can send in a card for the end of the month video. I will have the instruction video linked in the description box below for more details. If you are going to do a video or Instagram post, please go ahead and use those two hashtags that you see at the top of the page. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first set of cards that I made this month. I will go into more detail tomorrow with what products I used, but I did think that the papers from the Bella Boulevard Chloe collection made nice, fun, cheery cards. You might have noticed that the sentiments came from the free printable that I gave away last month, and tomorrow I will remind you how you can download that again. I did go ahead to bring out the orange cardstock base. I did stamp some orange dots scattered around that just to add some more color and make this look like it was stamped. So not only will I be back with the process video tomorrow, but my collaborators will also be joining me with their take on the sheet load for the month. So make sure that if you're not already subscribed to their YouTube channels or follow them on Instagram or their blogs to go ahead and do that so you're ready. Everybody is linked in that description box below. Are you ready to find out how to download the file? I do ask that before you download or print the file that you are subscribed to me. It's free, it's quick, it's just right here underneath my video. We do just go on the honor system here. I'm not gonna make you email me proof or sign up for any mailing list to get the file. All the way at the bottom of my description box below is a link to the PDF. There is no password needed. You can click on it, open it up and view it on screen, or you can download and print it that is up to you. And also, just because I do print mine in color, you can definitely print this in black and white and it will still work. If you're excited to make a sheet load of cards, I hope you'll go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Until my next video, which will be the process tomorrow, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.